Let's go. One at the end. Day three of our trip to Iceland and we have driven about two and a half hours west across the south coast, headed to a glacier hopefully, and the ice beach. I thought you said we were going east. No, Aha. we're going west. Oh, oh shoot, east. we're going, going east. east. We're, we're, going we're east. Dry, we've driven two and a half hours east <laughs> en route to I've told you I shouldn't do this. Diamond <laughs> Beach and we're somewhere in the middle of nowhere and we just stopped for TV and bananas. I was going to say and Jay's. BBJ. Because the chicken sandwich from the gas station was sixteen dollars. It actually was sixteen dollars. Mm -hmm. You got fries with it. Mm. <laughs> we also filled up the gas tank for the first time this morning. <clears throat> Thirty U.S. dollars for a quarter of a tank. Quarter of a tank for Thirty dollars. Ice is quite expensive, which is why we're eating BBJ. Icelandic peanut butter. <laughs> I do Jelly. want to point out that yesterday I ate cereal. Peanut butter and jelly <laughs> and ramen noodles. <laughs> but we meals. put the egg in the ramen. Insta story. So I made it fancy ramen. <laughs> make a logo that was ours as well. Mm -hmm. like, I could literally take the logo from y'all and put K and B on it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Like dressed as trolls, but That's they're internet funny. trolls. <laughs> We just made it to our first iceberg lagoon. I'm telling you this in the car because it is so windy out there. I don't know if we're gonna be able to talk. Wait. Hell <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. Oh, this is crazy. It's like pushing me as I walk right now. Not even sure if you're gonna be able to hear me right now, but the wind was blowing so hard when we were driving here that we were passing a lady on a bike and the wind almost blew her into our car. It was very scary. Probably a lot more scary for her. Arr, I was not prepared for this. Can't even see me smiling. I'm so warm. Hey, why aren't you walking straight? I feel like I have to lean into it to walk straight. Whoa, there's the ice. that like you can make look so good on Instagram and you come in real life and maybe you're a little disappointed but if you look at it like on a macro level like through the lens like a piece of ice sitting on the black sand it is incredibly beautiful and it's still really pretty 
but it's just like not what the picture showed on the internet. Also, we're here in the summer, so maybe the ice gets a lot better in the winter. That would make sense. Whoa, that one's huge out there. I'd go to Whoa, there's an iceberg on the jet one. Look how big it is. Time change. All the huge ice chunks are coming to the beach. Look at them all out there. They're all coming out of the river right now. Wow! This is so crazy. When we showed up at the beach, there were like ice chunks the size of basketballs, and now there's ice chunks the size of cars like 30 minutes later. This is so cool. We gotta get our shot! Go! Look at it! Whoa! Yes! Wow, it's coming for me. Woo! Everything I said about Diamond Beach being underwhelming, that was incredible. It's crazy how quickly it changed. I have no clue what it was. I, I assume it was like the tide, but all of the ice just came rushing into the ocean and started washing up on the beach. It was awesome. But I am a little like sick to my stomach right now because I went to the car to get the drone and I left the batteries. So I didn't get drone footage of like one of the most beautiful places I've ever been, but it's okay. It was still a lot of fun. I did get one of my favorite pictures of Kara that I've ever gotten, so that'll show up. Now. And now we are going to the lagoon where all of this ice is coming from in the first place. Somewhere back over there. So this is where all the ice is coming from. That was incredibly beautiful. Unfortunately, everything I see that's incredibly beautiful is like a double-edged sword because I love it, but at the same time, it just makes me more sad that I don't have the drone. That would have like been the best ever. It would have been the best ever. <laughs> ah! I didn't even think about it, Nate. Where were they plugged in? They're in my black backpack, which I just didn't oh. throw in the car today. Oh wow. <laughs> yeah. So we've now driven about two hours back towards where we're staying. We're in a town called Vik, one of the very few towns here in Iceland that I can pronounce. <laughs> and we've stopped for uh, what I believe is traditional Icelandic food, a hot dog from the gas station. <laughs> I don't know if this was the best place to get my first Icelandic <laughs> hot dog, but it's not bad. It's cheap. Kara chose no hot dogs. She went with the cup of noodles instead. I got the noodles too. So cup of noodles and hot dogs for dinner. <laughs> so there is a store that is connected to this gas station. There's actually, oh, there are gas pumps. and restaurant <laughs> instead of store. Okay. Here? This is, we're eating at a gas this station. This is a store. This is a gas that station. That is a cafe. <laughs> the next one is a restaurant. <laughs> it's all one building. Okay, well the cafe is like $15 for a hamburger and then if you move over to the restaurant, then it's $50 for a plate of lamb. $25 for a pizza. So uh, hot dogs are wrong. So here we are. <laughs> okay, but it's totally worth it because Iceland is incredibly beautiful. 
Are we doing the waterfall after this? We need to. After this, we're going to an incredible waterfall. We're eating the hot dog for. Oh, it's still too hot. We're going to Skoga Falls. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I just had I said dinner. We do not have to use that. <laughs> I prefer that you did. He's hand up on the neon mountain <laughs> and hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> that we've seen. That's all I know. It is 9.30 p.m. and it's still light enough outside for us to see one last amazing thing here in Iceland. It's huge. Potentially the biggest waterfall, but we have not verified that yet. <laughs> there was the sign back there, but we passed it because we want to get a picture before it gets dark. So it's cute. It's cold. getting dark but there's a bunch of steps that lead up to the top of the waterfall so we have to go up there. You only have to go to falls once. Let's go! We're working off the hot dogs and ramen all the way to the top. Ah, okay that's enough. You're good Barrett. Slow stairs. I'm tired. I did have ramen noodles for dinner two nights in a row. So, you're making us look bad. What? They do CrossFit. They ain't CrossFitters. Back down we go. So much energy. I love going down. We're currently driving to find a hidden gym of Iceland. <laughs> and it's dark outside, so we're gonna go up and hopefully take a dip in the pool, geothermal pool. See that? Pine Cove Christian you Camps. You can't just promote anything you want on our vlog. <laughs> at Pine Cove Camps, at T. Barrett Sims, at Kayla Sims. You don't know my Instagram? No, I don't. Kayla Francis won. Follow my handle here. <laughs> Between my hands. <laughs> is, this, is this what you think of us? Hey guys, it's me and oh it's me God. again. <laughs> <laughs> is that not what you wanted? This is yeah. like studio lighting. We're I feel famous though.